right, so we are off to the races for another amazing week of awesome workouts. So like always, it's gonna be a full body workout. So we're gonna start first with our legs, work our way up to our core, all of our stabilizing muscles, back, tummy muscles, all that fun stuff. Then we're gonna be doing our arms, our shoulders. We'll finish with some hand-eye coordination stuff to work out that brain of yours, okay? Then we'll do a full body workout, cool down, cheer, off to the races. Everyone will start their weekends on a good note with some exercise and hopefully a little bit sweatier. But first, we're going to do our warm up. So everyone should be standing up. We're going to get our arms straight out to our sides. Little circles going forwards here. Good stuff. You guys are becoming pros at these warm ups here. I love it. All right, circles are getting bigger and bigger. Big as you can go big as you can go. Think like helicopter propellers. Good stuff, everyone. And freeze. And we're going to throw it in reverse. So little circles going the opposite direction. So going the opposite direction that you just were there. And those are getting bigger and bigger. And big as you can go, big as you can go. Amazing. Love it. All right, we're gonna do some shoulder shrugs. So we're gonna bring your shoulders up to your earlobes. We're gonna do 10 of them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna take our right arm, we're gonna make an elbow with it. You're gonna grab that elbow with your other hand. You're gonna put it behind your head and you're just gonna gently tug on your elbow towards the ground, okay? Gently tugging, you have both arms behind your head. We're just gonna hold that. Good stuff, hold it for three, two, one. Good stuff. Should be feeling a little bit of a burn right here, all right? Give yourself a little wiggle. We'll do the same thing to the other side. So we're gonna make an elbow. We're gonna grab that elbow. We're gonna put it behind our head and just gently pull it towards the ground. Again, you should probably be feeling a little bit of tension there with the underside of your arm. If it starts hurting, you're pulling too much though. And good, give yourself a little wiggle there, perfect. We're gonna go hands on our hips now. Our feet, we're gonna pretend our feet are in cement so they can't move. What is moving though is our entire middle section. So your butt, your hips, your belly button, all that stuff is going in a big circle, pretending that there's an invisible hula hoop around you. Good stuff, everybody. Adib, can I see you? And in freeze. We're gonna throw this one in reverse too, so back the other way now. Back the other way. Good. Let's see that circle, Dadeev. Love it. Everyone's listening so well this morning. Good stuff. You all must have had your coffee. I love it. All right. <laughs> we are going to now take our right foot. We're going to take one big step forward. Big step forward. We're going to lean forwards. Hands on our knee. Okay. Try and stay right above chest, right above your knee. If you start leaning off to a side, you might get off balance. You don't want that. Just gonna lean forward. Keep that back foot flat on the ground. Good. And of course, what we do to one side, we wanna do to the other as well too. So we're gonna take our left foot now. One big step forward, hands on our knee, leaning forward here. Good stuff. And again, right now you're stretching that back leg. You should be feeling most of it in your calf on your back leg. That calf is the lower part of your leg. Good stuff. All right, last ones we're gonna do here. We're gonna get our ankles and our feet all warmed up. So we're gonna take our right foot. We're gonna point our toes and we're gonna put those toes pointed right into the ground. And they're little circles, little circles. Get all those muscles and tiny bones and fibers and all that stuff there woken up. Got to make sure our whole body's awake for this exercises this morning. Nice job, Vivian. I like those circles. Good work. 
All right. And we're going to do the same thing with our other foot now. So our left foot, we're going to point our toes, toes into the ground, and little circles, kind of like a ballerina. Nice pointy toes into the ground. Good stuff, everyone. Nice job, ladies. Perfect. So now that our bodies are nice and warmed up, we are going to get started with our exercises. So again, we are going to make sure there is nothing around us here. Nice clean space. I'm just going to tilt this down just a little bit because when we're doing our lower body stuff, you don't really need to see what's going on with the chest. You need to see what's going on with our legs. Okay. So here's what we are gonna do. We are gonna do what's called sumo squats, okay? So you've probably seen our squats before, right? The whole point of a squat, we remember we don't bend at the waist, right? We're not bending here, we're bending here. So at the knees, you're getting your butt as low to the ground as you can and then up. Now, the reason that these are called sumo squats is if you've ever seen a big sumo wrestler before, they kind of do like this before a match starts, right? They do. He's big, get down low, right? So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing as well too, but we're gonna do a squat with it, okay? So it's gonna look like this. You do a big step to your right, down, squat back up, bring your feet in. Big step to the left, squat down, right back up, and then feet in, okay? And we are gonna do that 10 times. We're gonna take a quick break, uh, let everyone catch their breath. All right, I'll give you maybe a tip or two, then we're gonna do 10 more times, okay? So to start, I should see everyone, feet nice and close together, okay? And remember, not at the waist, bend at the knee. Butt low to the ground. The lower you can get your butt, the better the exercise is, all right? So on the count of three, we're gonna start with our right leg, big step to the right, and get that butt nice and low to the ground. Ready? One, two, three, big step to the right, butt to the ground, get your feet back. There's one big step to the left, butt to the ground and step back. There's two big step to the right, get your butt down. Nice big Good step, job, Rahi. Rahi. Big step the other way, butt down low, back in. So we're at four, butt down low, butt back up. There's five, we're already halfway there. You guys are doing amazing. Nice job, Kaden. Great job getting that butt down big, low, Louie. Right. Butt down low, step back up. Big step to the left. Butt down low, right back up. Got three more left here, and we are going to be done. Nice job, so Andre. All right, eight. Ready? Nine. Adib, let's see those squats. And last one, let's make it a good nice. one. Get your butt as low to the ground as possible. There's 10, good stuff, everyone. So you can give yourself a little breather. If your legs are feeling a little jello-y. You can shake them out a little bit there. That's good, All right? So what's different about this one, right? A normal squat is just down, up, down, up, right? And your feet aren't moving. This one, because we're opening our legs and going a little bit wider, right? Works a little bit different muscles. Some of you might even be feeling it a little bit in your hips there too, right? So that's why these little variations are good. Now, for this next one, same thing, but if you guys went this far, I want to see you guys go one inch deeper, okay? So just go a little bit further. Really challenge yourself with this next set. Okay, so we're gonna First do- Coach Kyle. Yeah. Sorry. What if someone found that a little bit too hard? If someone I found had a couple a of people message hard, me. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, if that was too hard, then let's take the steps out of it. So let's not do the hips. Okay. So we can just do it just standing there and just down and up. Okay. So it's just down go. and up. All right. Awesome. And we'll have Alyssa doing that. So you guys can follow along with Alyssa if you're finding that that was a little bit too tricky. Okay. Okay. So perfect. Yeah, let's look for Alyssa. If you need some modifications, there she is. Hello, Alyssa. All right. So everyone should be standing back up. We got 10 more and then we are done with our good old sumo squats here. Okay. So we're going to start with our right leg again, or if you're doing the modified ones, you're just standing there, but get that butt down nice and low. Ready, set, go. So we're doing step to the right, 
down and up. Step out, down and up. So we're at two. Good job, everyone. Good job, girls. Our, nice job, Keenan. Ladies are getting nice and low there. That's perfect. Down and up. We're halfway. Great job, ladies. Six. Good job. Seven. Keep going, Adi. Bend from your knees. Got two more. Nine. Good stuff. And last one. Let's try and get as low as we can on this last one. And back up. Ten. Good job, everyone. That was a tight one. So we are done with our squats. Now, these next ones, okay, I want to see you guys getting your knees up as high as you can. So you're going to try and be bringing your knees up towards your chest. All right. So you're going to hold two hands straight out in front of you. All right, right about chest height. And all you're gonna try and do is quick as you can, you're gonna be bringing your knees up. Okay, so maybe the modified version is we just go nice and slow like this. For me, we're gonna do a bit of a speed one. So we're gonna do it for 20 seconds. If you wanna challenge yourself, we're gonna see how many knee touches you can get in 20 seconds, right? So it's gonna be a little bit quicker like this, right? If you want the modified one, you follow Alyssa. It's not a race. It's just making sure you get your knee touches. Okay. So on the count of three, we're going to start. It's going to be 20 seconds. If you want to challenge yourself, see if you can go as fast as you can. Right. If not, follow along with Alyssa. Ready? 20 seconds on the clock. We're going to get started in three, two, one. Here we go. Good job, everyone. Great job, Louie. Nice. Hi. We're over halfway nice done. Speed, over halfway. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice and job, Zach. Good job. Take a little breather, catch your breath. We're going to do that one more time, but we'll let everyone. Catch their breath a little bit here first. All right. For those that are doing the speed round with me, maybe this time you can count in your head how many times you do it. Okay. So count every time your knee hits your hand. That counts as one. All right. And we'll see how many you can get. That'll be your high score that you can try and challenge yourself with this week. See if you can beat it later this week. All right. We'll give everyone another five seconds. Again, give your legs a little wiggle if you need to. All right, 20 seconds on the clock. This is our last one for knee touches and then we're done with this one. Ready, set, go. Get those knees. Good job, Andre. Good job. Good job, Rahi. Way there. From very high knees. Holy moly, Rahi. Rahi, those knees are almost up to your head. Holy jumpings. Three, two, one. Great job, Zach. You got good this. Poor Herc. Really good job. 64. Wow. Holy. 70. 80. 80. Oh my yes. goodness. You guys are doing like four per second at that rate, apparently. Mm, you guys know what you can work on for this week, then you can get it maybe five more. Yeah. So, this last exercise, we're just going to do one thing for 20 seconds, then a water break for everyone. Okay. So, if you're getting thirsty, the end is near. Now, I'm going to use a stool because I've got one nearby. If you don't have a stool, you can grab one of your weights or a soup can or anything really and just put it on the ground here. Okay? So there it looks like Alyssa put her can on the ground there. What we are going to be doing is going to be toe taps. Okay? And all a toe tap is, is if you've got a stool, you're literally just alternating feet. So you're alternating toe taps, all right? 
And obviously you can get a little bit quicker, quicker. You want to go really quick, stay up on your toes, right? Okay, so notice how I'm not standing up onto the thing. All I'm doing is I'm taking my toes, giving it a little tap. That's all it is, okay? So we don't actually stand on it, just tap it, okay? So I'll maybe do the speed one for 20 seconds. Alyssa, you can just do the take your time one, okay? You're gonna do this. 20 seconds and then water break. So again, if you don't have a stool, maybe a step works or even a couch that's nearby. If you don't have anything nearby, then you can just use one of your weights or a can or whatever, okay? So here we go again, everyone's making sure nothing near their feet that they're gonna step on or trip over. We're gonna get started in five, four, three, two, and one, toe taps, away we go. Nice, and or Alex, doing good. Wow, good work. You're halfway there. Great job, Andre. Keep it up, you're so close. It's almost water break time. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. We are done our legs for the day. Go grab some water. Great job, everyone. Anyone's legs or feet feeling tired yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Anyone? Mine's tired. Oh, oh tired. Tired. I just, want, just want to go to bed. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys are all me. working super hard. I totally understand why you're so tired. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, just tired a lot. All right. Huh? While you guys are finishing up your water break. Because I don't my sleep at night. <laughs> For our first exercise back, if someone, if you want to grab your ball, it can be a toy, it can be a book. All you really need is just an object, okay? So if you've got your ball handy, go grab your ball. If you don't have your ball handy, just grab a stuffed animal or, you know, a toy, something nearby. Do you got mine too? Don't grab a mirror or a vase or a precious family heirloom. We don't want that. Right? Something that you can move around a little bit. Today's a good day outside. It is a good day outside. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna tilt that a little bit there. Perfect. All right, so you can grab your object, put your water bottle away as well too, and everyone can sit down on their butts on the floor. Good stuff, everybody. Okay, so what we are gonna do, these are called core rotations. So everyone remembers what your core is. It's like your tummy muscles and along the side here, a little bit of your lower back as well too, okay? So there's gonna be two ways to do this. I am going to do the, uh, my version, and then Alyssa can do the modified version. So the modified version, okay, for those that wanna follow Alyssa, you're just gonna have your feet straight. You're gonna take your object, so your ball or whatever it is, and you're just gonna to touch the ground one side with it, touch the ground with the other side. So one, two, one, two. Okay, so Alyssa will be doing that. I'm gonna be doing the same thing, but to make it a little bit more challenging, I'm gonna have my feet off the ground while we do that, okay? So your feet don't need to be way the heck up by your head, even just an inch or two off the ground, as long as they're hovering there, that, that'll be our version of it, okay? And what we are going to do, we are going to do 16 touches. So that sounds like a lot, but it's really eight on each side. So it actually goes pretty quickly, okay? So 16 is what we're going for. That just means it's eight full rotations. Okay, so on the count of three, we're gonna get going, but make a decision now, whether you wanna try my version or Alyssa's, okay? If you want, you can maybe start off slow, try, Aly uh, try Alyssa's, and then if you want to make it more challenging the second time we do it, then you can maybe try mine, okay? So feet should be straight out ahead of you, all right? 
We're gonna grab our object and on the count of three, you can try and keep up with my pace if you're a little bit quicker or slower, doesn't matter, but just make sure you finish all 16. All right, so on the count of three, I'm gonna lift my feet and we're off to the races. Ready, one, two, three, feet are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Make sure you're not leaning against anything there, girls. 16. Good job, everybody. I know you girls weren't leaning against the couch there, right? <laughs> like I was saying, we want to make sure we're really working our tummy muscles by not leaning against anything. So if you were maybe leaning against something, just scoot out from it just a smidge, okay? Makes it a little bit more challenging, but we're gonna catch our breath here. Then we're gonna do it one more time, then move on, all right? Good stuff, everyone. So like I said, maybe if you tried Alyssa's the first time and you thought, oh, this is too easy for me, I wanna challenge myself, okay? You can do my version and vice versa. If you did my version the first time and you thought this is a little bit too hard, you can do Alyssa's version there. Okay, but regardless of what one you're doing, I should see everybody feet straight out in front of you here. You should have your little object in your hand. We're not leaning against anything. And on the count of three, I'm gonna raise my feet and we've got 16 more to go. All right, ready? One, two, three, feet are up. One, two, three. Awesome Four, job, Kai. Six. Good work. You got five, this. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Keep going to deep. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And six. Nice job, Zach. Good job, everybody. Really, really good work there, everyone. Okay. For these next exercises, all right, we all remember what a plank was from past weeks, I'll show you what a, a normal plank is, right? So you got your feet straight out behind you. We were up on our forearms and then we went up nice and straight like a board, right? Well, what we're gonna be doing this time, same idea, but it's gonna be a reverse plank, okay? So what I mean by that is we're just gonna have our feet straight out and there's two ways you can do it, all right? I think probably the easier way that maybe Alyssa can do would be to be up on your forearms backwards and then just being straight out like that, getting your butt off the ground, okay? So that way you're not that high off the ground. You're just looking for about an inch off the ground. The version I'll do where you gotta get your butt a little bit higher will be with our arms. So we've gotta get it about five or six inches off the ground, okay? So there's two ways you can do it. We'll do it for 20 seconds. We'll do it twice. So we'll do it 20 seconds, we'll do a break, and we'll do another 20 seconds. Maybe even try both of them and just see which one's more comfortable. So pick one of us to follow the first time, try the second version the second time. And then that way, if ever you're doing it on your own, you know which one you actually prefer to do. Okay, so if ever you wanna work out by yourself at home, you now know which one's more comfortable, okay? Either way though, everybody should have their feet in front of them like this, okay? All that's gonna to be touching is just your heels. So I don't wanna see anyone making a bridge like a crab walk here. Should just be your heels touching, okay? And on the count of three, we're gonna lift our butts off the ground, try and make your body nice and straight. That's why it's called a plank, right? Cause a plank is a long straight piece of wood. All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna go up, ready? One, two, three, we are up. Make your body nice and straight and just hold that. Hold this position. Good job, Alex. Lift that bum. Good work. Keep holding. We're halfway there. That's 10 seconds. Great job. Good job, Andres. Am I, are my hands okay? Five, four, three. Nice, Keaton. And one. Everyone can drop your butt back down. Give yourself a little rest. Okay, like I was saying before, whichever version you just did, try the other one. Okay, so if you're copying me, copy Alyssa this time. And if you're copying Alyssa the first time, 
try and copy me this time, okay? And then that way you'll know which one's more comfortable. So if ever someone says, hey, do you want to do a reverse plank? You know exactly which one you want to do, okay? Give everyone another couple seconds, catch your breath, right? If you've got the, the weird like bourbon fiber carpet there, you can look at your hand and see all the imprints on it. I've got all these funky patterns on the palms of my hands right now. All right. Gonna get started. Great job listening, everyone. Oh, I love it. Everyone's paying a lot of attention this morning. Mm -hmm. Start in five, four, three, two, one, let's get those butts up off the ground. Again, if you're doing Alyssa's version, you only need to be about an inch off the ground. If you're doing your hands flat. You want to be about four or five inches off the ground. So get that butt a little bit. Thanks, Louie. Just hold it. Really tighten that those tummy muscles. That'll help you. You're over halfway. Let's see it, Zach. Squeeze those tummy muscles. Nice. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Okay. Drop your butts back down. Good work, everybody. Really good job. Okay, so we're gonna do one more quick exercise before our next water break. And because we're already sitting on the ground, you can just lay down here, okay? Everyone's gonna lay down, right? We are gonna do 10 crunches. As soon as you're done your 10 crunches, we are gonna do a water break, all right? So you remember, a sit-up is when you bring your chest all the way up to your knees, right? Crunch, all you're trying to do is just get your shoulder blades off the ground, right? So it's only going about that high, okay? So you don't need to get all the way up off the ground. You can still have your lower back touching. Try and get your shoulder blades up off the ground, all right? And we are gonna do 10 of those. The only thing that I need to stress to you guys, right? Keep your feet planted, right? We are not using our feet as little slingshots to kick ourselves up, okay? Our feet stay planted. It's literally just from the waist up that should be moving here, okay? So we are gonna do 10 crunches. I'm gonna set a pace. If you can try and keep up with that, that's perfect. Again, if you're a little bit quicker or slower, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you finish all 10. Ready? Starting in three, two, one. One, two, three. Great job, Kai. Eight, five. Good job, Alexandria, six, Mom. Seven, eight. Come on, Alex, you can do it. Nine, last one. <laughs> you got this. And really good nice. job, everybody. That brings us to our second water break of the day. Go rehydrate. Get some H2O into you there, folks. Great work, everyone. Right. While you guys are doing your water breaks, you can go and get your weights as well, too. Okay or your soup cans, or your water bottles, whatever it is that you guys have. Now, right. again, these can be done sitting down or standing up, doesn't matter, right? If you don't have a couch or a chair or a stool or the edge of a bed or something nearby you, that's fine. You can just do these standing up, all right? <clears throat> so we'll, we'll do maybe the modified version will be if you don't have something to sit on, okay? So if you don't have something to sit on, you can just go down on one knee for these, okay? So the modified version is if you don't have something that you can sit on, all we're gonna be doing is concentration curls. So everyone remembers what our curls are, right? It's down and then up. Well, concentration curls, all right? If you guys have ever seen that famous statue, it's called the thinker. So the man thinking like this, right? He's got his head, elbow on his knee. Concentration curls, right? It's very similar to that. You're not gonna be putting the weight into your face. That's gonna hurt though, right? But it's the same basic thing. So you go all the way down, you've got your elbow resting on your knee and then all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, okay? And if you do have something to sit on, right? 
It's the same basic principle, right? Elbow to your knee, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, okay? So what we are gonna do, we are going to do eight per arm. So we're gonna do eight with our right, eight with our left, eight with our right, and then eight with our left, and then we're done, okay? So because we're only doing them one at a time, we're not gonna do a break in between them, right? Because when you're doing one arm, your other arm's getting a break. Then when you're doing this one, this one's getting a break, okay? So we're just gonna go eight, 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 eight. All right, ready? So you should only need one can or one weight right now. All right, we're gonna start with our right arm first, elbows on our knees, ready, set. All the way down, all the way up, down, up, good. That's a good pace everyone is setting right now because it's not a race, right? We're not trying to do this for speed. We're trying to go all the way down, make sure we extend all the way to the ground. And nice up. job, Louie. Work, we got two more left, all the way down. Good oh, job, Kaden. Last one, good job, all the way down, all the way up. Perfect. We're going to switch sides now. So if you're doing the modified version, oh, Alyssa's already a step ahead of us. I love it. She's switched knees. I was just going to say you got to switch knees if you're doing the modified one. All right. We ready? So left hand all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Nice, Edward. Good work, everyone. Four. So we're halfway done this one. Five. Great job, Adiv. Seven, and last one, and eight. Okay, we're gonna switch back to our right hand. Two quick things that I'm gonna really quickly point out to everyone. Number one, make sure we go all the way down. You should have your arm pretty well all straight extended, right? Don't just go down to here and then back up. Just doing this is only half the exercise. I wanna see you go all the way down, all the way up. And then the second part is, when we get here, we don't just drop the weight, right? We don't just let it fall all the way down. It's going to be a control all the way down, right? So it's one Mississippi up, two Mississippi down. All right. So let's really focus on those. All right. And we're going to do eight more with our right arm, and then we're done with our right arm. Ready, set, go. All the way down. Ah, there's one. All the way down. Awesome pace, Kai. Good speed. All the way down, up, there's three. All the way down, up, there's four. So we're already halfway done. All the way down, squeeze it all the way up. Good stuff. Down, bring it up towards you. You got this, Alex, up. let's see it. All the way down and up. There we go, nice. Up one, all the way down and up. Good job, everyone. We'll switch to our left. These are our last ones, and then we are done our concentration curls. So all the way down, and then up. All the way down, up. All Great job, Kaden. Nice control. All the way down. Up. Good job, everyone. Thanks. Up. Yeah, I love the pace that we're doing here all the way up to your chin good job all the way extended down one more all the way down and nice job andre good stuff everybody all right now, great job everyone i'm gonna kick away my little stool i'm gonna tilt this up because you're gonna want to see upper body for this so these are called shoulder burners okay and the reason they're called shoulder burners is because they start off really easy. And you think, oh my goodness, Coach Kyle, this is the easiest exercise in the world. Then you get about 10 seconds in and you go, oh, my shoulders are getting a little tired. Then you get 15 seconds in and you go, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to make it. And then you get to 20 seconds and you go, oh, thank goodness, we're done. Okay. So there's going to be two versions of it. I'll do the version where you've got a weight in either hand. And I'll maybe turn sideways so you can see. But you're going to bring them up and hold them parallel to your shoulders. So see how they're in line with my shoulder here? And we're going to hold them straight out like that for 20 seconds, OK? The modified version, which Alyssa will do, you'll only have one weight, OK? So my version, you're going to have a weight in either hand. Alyssa's, 
Okay, you're gonna grab the weight with both hands and with both hands, you're gonna hold it straight out in front of you. Again, shoulder height, right? But only one weight, okay? So we're gonna do it for 20 seconds the first time. The second, then we're gonna take a break. The second time, we're only gonna do it for 10 seconds though, because your shoulders are already gonna be a little bit tired. So it might be a little trickier the second time, okay? So the first time it's gonna be 20 seconds. The second time it's only gonna be 10, all right? So the first one, Again, if you're doing my version, we're going to hold both weights straight out. Alyssa's version, it's going to be one weight. All right. So on the count of three, I want to see those arms nice and straight right in front of you. Ready? One, two, three. Weights are up. We're going to hold them there. Nice That's job, hard. Andre. Super easy. And all of a sudden, you're going to feel your arms start oh, to get a little bit tired. And your shoulders are going to start feeling a little bit jello like. Let's see it, Edward. They're going to be a little bit heavier than you thought they were a second ago. You're already over halfway. Keep holding them, though. Keep holding them straight out in front of you. Five, four, three, two, Good job, Edward. one. Oh, my goodness, you can drop your arms. Everyone, do a little bit of a shoulder shimmy there. Get, get your shoulders woken up again. Good job. Good work. Oh my god. I really goodness. felt that one. What's that? I really felt that one. You really you felt, really that, felt that? that? Did it start out easy and then get harder as you went on? Yeah. Oh, that means you were doing it right then. Okay. We've caught our breath. We're going to do it again, but this time we're only going to do it for 10 seconds because I'm going to bet that all your shoulders are a little bit tired right now. Okay. So same thing. Alyssa's one weight. I'll do two weights. On the count of three, we're going up. Ready? One, two, three. We're up. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Great Four, job, Kai. Nice five, hold. Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Good job, Seven, Eddie. Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. Nine. Nice, Mississippi. Edward. Good job, Eddie. Eight, Mississippi. Whew. Good work, everybody. Again, if you need to, give your shoulders a little shimmy shake there. Get them woken up. Right. Is anyone's arms feeling like jelly? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. All right. Final ones here. So, Alyssa, maybe your modified version for our rows can just be standing up and you'll just bend at the waist and just do rows like this. Okay. So that's going to be if you don't have a stool or a chair or something nearby. Mine, it, it seems a little bit more complicated, but it's the same basic motion. Okay. Mine, if you've got a stool or something nearby, you're going to have one knee on it, right? The other leg is off. And all you're going to do is you're going to have your arm straight down and it's just a straight up pull motion. So see how my elbow makes a triangle above my back every time? Okay. It's like you're starting a lawnmower. Okay, some of you may have never had to cut the grass before, but I can guarantee you at some point your parents are going to tell you to go out and cut the lawn when you're a teenager or something. Maybe that'll be your, your chores or your allowance. Okay, but it's just straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Okay, so we're going to do that eight times on the right side, eight times on the left side. We'll go back to the right side eight more times, left side eight more times. Okay, so you don't have a stool or a chair or a bed or something watch Alyssa if you do let's get one knee on it we're going to start with our right arm so I want to see your left knee on it and here we go ready set go up we make the triangle down up down There's three down four down nice Alex down good job six down. Good job, Seven. Down. And last one. Eight. Down. Good job. So we're going to switch sides now. All right. So we're going to put it in our left hand. If you've got a stool, you're going to be kneeling with your right knee. Ready? Set. Up. Triangle. Down. Up. Triangle. Down. Nice job, Eddie. Three. Let's see it. Nice. Four. Up, 
Five. Up. Good Seven. job, Kai. Up. Great job, Rahi. Seven. And up. Eight. Good job. We'll take a real quick breather here. Where are you guys feeling it? Point, point to your arms. What part of your arms are you feeling that in? Is it your I fingers? Think both of, I think both of them, I guess. In both your arms? Yes, say this arm. Good answer. I like that answer. Right here. Right, here. right there? That's my right. Arm, my you arms got... hurt more on the opposite side because I'm putting all my weight on it. Oh, ah. I think it was Caden that was pointing to this part of the arm. That's, yeah. that's pretty much yeah. where you're going to be feeling it. Right? I feel a little here. bit in your shoulder just because we're moving it up and down. It's mostly the back of your arm there. So that's good. If you're feeling it, yeah. that means you're doing something right there, buddy. All right, let's grab our weights. We've got eight more on either side. Then we are done with our weights for the day. All right, so for those that are doing the modified version, check out Alyssa's screen. For my version, okay, we're going to have our left knee on our stool. Right arm has the weight, and it's just dangling straight down. Ready, set, up, and triangle, down. Make that little shark fin. It almost looks like you've got a little shark fin above your back there. Adib, let's see it. Good job. Down, up. Oh. There we go. Nice. Keep going. Work. Love it. Last one. Up and down. Great Good. job, Andre. All right. We're going to switch sides. Last eight. And then we are done with our weights for the day. All right. Right knee on. Left hand has the weight. Ready. Set. Shark fin. Down. Try and go. Good work over there, Sharvesh. Dorito chip. Down. Pyramid. Nice <laughs> job, ladies. Shapes I can describe. Good stuff, girls. Down. Let's see it, Zach. Two more. Last one. Make it a good one. And nice. Down. Great job, Zach. Nice. All right. Put your stools and all that away. Put your weights to the side. Last water break of the day. Go grab a quick water break. Have right. your and sit on it. You guys are all working so hard today. Goodness. He's cooking us. Anyone? He's working us out. I know. <laughs> He's making you work. Well, I got for it. sure. Did you the phone number for Jake's house. You didn't. I just sent it to you, Adib. Okay. Okay. I'll remember. Okay. Here. There we go. Okay, you can go. What is Jake's all house website? Is it jakeshousewebsite.com or jakeshousewebsite.ca? It's jakeshouse.ca. Okay. All right, while you guys are finishing up your water break, if you can find your ball, whether it's a tennis ball, bouncy ball, pair of rolled up socks, baseball, whatever it is, go grab that. And then you can put your water bottle away. We get started in 10 seconds here with our good old hand eye instructions. If everyone has their ball, show it to the, the camera. I see I see yours, Kaden. Nice. Uh, Rahi. Any soccer ball there, Rahi? That's pretty cool. Very cool. Love it. All right. So here's what we are going to do. Okay. We're going to start. Everyone's going to start with their right hand first. Okay. Just so we're all doing the same thing. Even if you're left-handed, we're going to start with our right hand. Okay. So we're going to do right hand and then left hand. So if you're right-handed, the first one will be easier. The second one will be tougher. If you're left-handed, the first one will be tougher. The second one will be easier. Don't worry. Everyone's going to get their way. What we are going to do very simply, you're going to put your ball in your right hand. Put your left hand behind your back, okay? That way you're, you're making sure you're not cheating there, okay? And all we are going to do is you're going to have the ball hanging directly in front of you. So remember, we're straight out just like we were doing our shoulder burners. And all you're going to do is you're going to drop it and try and catch it before it hits the ground, okay? So drop and catch. Now, I'm going to give you a hint, right? If you try and just bend at the waist, it's going to be way tougher. If you bend at the knees and follow it, it's going to be way easier, right? So if I just bend at the waist, pretty hard. See how it almost hit the ground before I got it? If I bend at the knees, much easier, okay? Now, the modified version, which maybe Alyssa will do, 
We'll put both hands out in front, and then that way you've got two hands that you can do. The same thing, you're gonna try and catch it before it hits the ground, right? So drop, and then try and catch it with two hands, okay? So if you wanna challenge yourself, we're gonna do it one hand, put your other hand behind your back. You wanna use both hands, right? Then you can do Alyssa's version on the right there, okay? So everyone, regardless of whether you're using one hands or two, you should have your ball straight out in front of you. You're gonna drop it five times and see out of those five times, how many times you can catch it before it hits the ground. Ready, set, go. That's one. Two. Nice job, Alex. That's three, good work, Alex. Good hand eye. That's four. Nice, That's Edward. Five. Good job, everyone. Make sure you do all five. Once you're done all five, give me a thumbs up. See some people done, some people are still doing it. Good stuff. All right. So for those that are doing one hand, we're now gonna put our right hand behind our back and we're just gonna have our left hand out front. So again, if you're right-handed, this one might be a little bit trickier. If you're left-handed, this one might actually be easier than the first one, okay? But same thing, we're gonna be doing five in a row, okay? See how many you can catch before it hits the ground. Ready, set, go. One, two. Nice job, Zach. Three, four, five. Good job, everyone. Did anyone go 10 for 10? Meaning they caught all five with their right hand and all five with their left hand? No. That's okay. <laughs> Did anyone go eight or nine for 10? Yes. Yes? Oh, that's good. Nice. That's pretty impressive for the first time. So now you know you can try your, a little bit harder on your own there. See if you can go a perfect 10 for 10. And maybe next week you can tell us whether you did it on your own or not. Another cool version of this. If you've got, you know, maybe if the girls want to do it to each other there, your sisters, right? Or if you've got a parent or something, is have them stand behind you, right? You're, you're standing like this, getting ready for it. You're not looking at the ball. And they have the ball over your head, and they drop it, and you try and catch it before it hits the ground, right? That really Ooh. eye coordination and is kind of a fun game that you can try and challenge yourself with your friends as well, too. <laughs> if anyone's ever played hockey before, that, that's a warm-up that a lot of goalies do to get their hand-eye coordination warmed up before a game. There. Okay? So, I see Kai's trying it with mom there. Good work, guys. Oh, I like it. And that's yes, something indeed. that you can do. You can try and see what kind of a high score you can set, right? So, again, you can maybe do it out of 10. See how many times you can catch it with mom dropping it before it hits the ground. Okay? So, we have our cool down to do. My goodness, it's almost time to get you guys out of here. Holy jumpings, time flies when you're having fun. All right, so let's put our ball back off to our side. All right, again, make sure you're nice and clear space here. We are gonna start by looking all the way to the right. We're gonna roll our chin across our chest until we're looking the opposite direction. So chin nice and close to the chest, to the left, and back. To the right, and one Good more chin time. rolls, Louis. Just to the left, and one more time. Back to the right. There we go. All right. Nice job, now, girls. Take our knee. We're gonna bring it up to our chest. If you need to hold onto a wall or your partner or a table or something, you can. If you can do it just standing up, that's fine. We're gonna bring our knee up to our chest, nice and close. All right. We're gonna hold that. Good stuff, everyone. Again, modified version. You can hold onto a wall if you want, right? But hold, hold, hold. There you nice go. Nice balance, Kai. My goodness. Got some yoga people in here, I think. All mm -hmm. right, and what we do to one side, we do to the other. So let's bring that knee up to our chest again. Once again, if you need to hold on to something for a little bit of balance to get started, that is fine. Oh, nice, Eddie. <laughs> good stuff and we'll put that down all right and everyone's favorite exercise we're going to take our right hand and we're going to say stop we 
going to grab the tips of your fingers and you're going to push your palm forward. Again, we're not pulling our fingers back. You're taking the palm of your hand and pushing it forwards as much as you can. If it's hurting, nice pushing, you're pushing Rahi. fingers too much. Good job, Rahi. And hold it. Hold it. Hadeep, hold let's see it. it. Good work. Nice. You're it properly, you're probably feeling it in your forearm a little bit. But again, what we do to one side, we want to do to the other. So we're going to take our left hand. We're going to throw it in front and say, stop. Gently grab the tips of our fingers. We're going to push that palm forward. Good stuff. Good stuff. And hold it. Nice, Louie. Hold it. Good job, everyone. And Good job, Kaden. That was a little bit of a wiggle there. I like it. All right. Thanks. Everyone get in nice and close here to the camera. I want to see everyone's smiling faces here. You guys can all unmute yourselves because we're going to do our awesome cheer. And then I hope you guys all have Thanks a Thanks for that cheer. great program. Yeah. 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 Awesome cheers, guys. Those fingers, everyone. Hey, everyone. Come on, there. All right. Two, three, three. Awesome. awesome.